Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. This is my after-match reaction from St. Patrick's Athletic Neil Sean McGrover's one at Richmond Park. Goals scored by Aaron McAniff, which is a penalty. But uh, I just wanted to start talking basically about both teams. Um, the both teams were coming into the season, I suppose, tipped to challenge for the top spot in the league along with Dundalk. <clears throat> with the signings they made and stuff like that, both teams are kind of gelling new players at the moment and kind of have been winning games, drawing games and I suppose for Rovers we're, we're losing games and tonight now Pat's off but you know I just I thought Rovers at the moment they're just kind of trying to mix everything around trying to figure out the best ways of kind of including players and I thought you know someone who fell victim to that tonight was Dylan Watts and Greg Balger was in so it meant that Watts was kind of left out and it meant that Jack Byrne was playing more of a central position this time around, more so than Ronan Finn, who was seems to be playing that wider position that Jack Byrne has been playing. And speaking to Jack after the game, he's saying that he, he, it's not his natural position out, out wide. He's not really a fan of it. He prefers through the middle. But, you know, he's happy to be just playing. I suppose he said Dan Carr was obviously out left and Aaron Green up top, who was a constant threat throughout. Uh, from a Pat's point of view, they set up with, you know, it seemed like they had like a flat midfield three. Um, I was saying to some of their fans, I was just like, but why, why are you at home? He's playing a flat three, rather than having maybe two sitting and one maybe McCabe as the attacking midfielder. But it seemed to be a flat three, and then they had Chris Forrester and Brandon Mille up there, uh, and Mikey Drennan, who I found for for lar large parts of the game was fairly isolated and didn't get a lot of service. Um, the one time he did get a bit of service, he put a header wide, which I thought he should have scored from where I was sitting, but I was be behind the far goal, so it was a bit far away for me to actually judge where, whether or not he should have been nailed on to score, but I mean, every time Jack Byrne got on the ball for Shamrock Rovers, he was immense. He was just getting the ball, receiving it, and picking up little pockets of space, drop, uh, leaving the ball off. McAniff was fantastic as well, I thought, quite enough up until the goal but as I said the goal was scored quite early on but that really seemed to give him that bit of confidence the ball by, by Byrne wait to see it on Soccer Republic it's beautiful a uh, nice little ball and I think it was Lee Desmond who he went he, he looked like he had the ball but it was just such a good ball that he ended up just slipping at the end of it Green was in and he gets taken out uh, it was a Stonewall penalty and uh, Shamrock Rovers were one nil up and deserved of their lead. They kept uh, St. Pat's quite quiet enough, you know. And they thought a couple of times they got in some lovely counter attacks. And in particular, there was one counter attack led by McAniff, and he fed it into Finn. Finn fed it to Green, and then he fed it to Jack Byrne. And, and for me, I thought Jack could have could have shot it, was, it seemed to be like a one-on-one -on -one situation but he, he squared it off to Dan Carr and I think if that was on his right foot as the goal but it was on his left foot and he hit the side net and so uh, Rovers definitely had the better of the chances and you know we're, we're lucky not to get punished by Pat the top Pat's kind of made their way back into the game it was a lot tighter sec second half there wasn't too many clear cut chances I suppose the only clear cut chance you could really think of note was at the end when Kevin Towner and the Brendan Brendan Clark were uh, basically just had a bit of miscommunication. He went ahead, it went over Clark, and if Green had had a bit more composure, he would have made it two 0 and he would have got himself on the score sheet. <clears throat> but it is what it is. Uh, all in all, I think one 0 was a fair result for Shamrock Rovers. I thought Pat's. I thought, as I said before, I thought Mikey Drennan was very, very isolated up top. Chris Forrester looks off the pace at the moment. Dean Clark done well when he came on, but didn't have a lot to aim at as well. Gary Shaw didn't think he had the most amazing game. I think he probably would admit that himself. But, um, yeah, I mean, as far as match reaction goes, in the second half there wasn't a lot to speak about, but definitely the first half was, was where most of the chances were at. And, I know I said 1-0 would probably be a fair result, but if Pat had snuck a goal, I don't think anyone would have been complaining that was at the game, unless you were a Sean McRoberts fan. Uh, I think, you know, I don't think this is a, a, an overly negative result for, for Pat. I mean, they just got to get back in, 
bounce back like, as Rovers did against Bowes. They came back, played Finn Harps, got back to win ways, and now they're carrying a bit of a run now again, you know. So that's what Pats need to go back and do. Go back to the drawing board. Look at ways maybe to to get around Drennan, as in when he, when he when he's getting the ball up top to give him something to link up with. I found it was no giving goals at all. It was just him getting the ball and trying to run at people. And he was really getting frustrated. Lack of service and a lack of options for when he did get the ball. Uh, Lee Grace was brilliant for Shamrock Rovers at the back. Uh, Joey O'Brien actually done quite well at right back, I thought, for, for, for Shamrock Rovers as well. I thought Simon Madden had an all right game. Um, he seems... It seemed like a really good battle between himself and Carr. And, you know, I think Carr found himself backtracking a lot more than he thought he actually would be. But all in all, it was a, it was a very fair game. There was a lot of flying tackles going in. I also thought actually Trevor Clark was very good. Um, majority of players played played well. So all in all, calling it as a neutral, I, I thought it was a, I thought it was a fair enough game. But at the same time. It could have went either way. Just it's it. Rovers had the better of the chances. They took away. They they scored the penalty, and simply that was the difference. Aaron McInerf looks like a great signing for them, and he was brought in basically to replace Graham Burke's goals. And you know he hasn't had a bad start. I know he's got two penalties, but you have to be there and you have to have be the man to to have the balls to step up, step up and take them and and score them. So he's done that and. He looks like a great signing. Uh, Jack Brown definitely looks a lot better through the middle for Rovers. Um, yeah, just that's been really it. Like I haven't got much much more read to say about it. It was a decent enough game. Dublin Derby, one 0 Shamrock Rovers. Uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments if you're at the game, and uh, don't forget to subscribe as we are very very close to 5k. And if you like this video, drop a like. Thanks for watching. I'll speak to you soon.